派會主席。The President。會員在恢復全體。Meeting now resumed. The committee continues to scrutinise the appropriation bill 2014. So we、uh, continue with our joint debate on part three. Does any other does any member wish to speak? Albert Chan. Good morning, Chairman. Apparently, some members have yet to、um, get awakened. So please call for a count. Thank you. 
Does any member wish to speak? Albert Chen. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Chairman, good morning, everyone. Chairman, we are now on part three of our joint debate. But then uh, it's still um, under group two. And uh, for group one, well, People's Power have al has already completed all our um, speeches. And um, this covers uh, some 22 heads. And uh, today, We'll be moving on to the second group. Only seven are involved. And for the issues involved, they are rather complicated, uh, including AFCD, Department of Health, Food Safety and Environmental Hygiene, or the FEHD, and then Government Secretariat, uh, the Food and Health Bureau, the Labor and Welfare Bureau and also the SWD, the Social Welfare Department. So I'll be speaking on each and every one of those. Chairman, in the amendment, I have moved uh, Amendment 660. It's about uh, the cut of the, um, uh, the director for FEH's uh, annual emolument or the, his office uh, annual spending. Well, with regard to the Food and Health Bureau, it has committed uh, mistakes resulting in adverse impacts on our community and also the loss of job opportunities. And also, as a result of that, uh, the agriculture and fisheries uh, industry is now shrinking, and part of it uh, is actually um, declining to, to such an extent that it's dying. I'd also like to talk about uh, the um, the uh, Problem encountered by uh, prawn uh, or the uh, uh, prawn or the shrimp trawlers. Well, some of them, some of the fishermen, have lost their jobs or business. Well, in catching uh, shrimps, that doesn't necessarily have to be done through tra trawlers, resulting in the uh, destruction of a seabed. And therefore, in terms of support by the administration, had the administration been able to provide better support to these? Then for those who are working on shrimp boats, uh, they should have been able to um, work. Well, because some of the fishermen are actually still in their 30s, and it's really quite rare that in this day and age there are still some who are young and energetic who are willing to join the industry. I've met with some of them. Some of them live in Tin Moon near Castle Peak Bay. Their vessels are. Uh, um, ward near Castle Peak Bay, and therefore the administration should have offered better assistance to them. Next, uh, I'd also like to comment on Long Kok Hong's Amendment 44. Cut of head 22, some $629.7759 million. And I'd like to speak in support of this amendment. And if I can refer you to this, well, that's to cut the personal emoluments for the staff of the AFCD. Um, so that's uh, for the entire year. Because for many years, I've been criticizing this. Well, in the past, uh, it used to be called the uh, Egg and Fish Department, and now it's called the Egg AFCD. Agriculture and Fisheries Conservation Department, and some fishermen used to change the name of um, the AFD. They call it by a nickname uh, instead of calling it uh, Agriculture, and uh, they say that uh, this department was there to um, try to fool them. So, and is there to ignore the views of the fishermen? So instead of calling it the AFD, it's called IFD. And as a result, some fishermen have been um, forced out of business. For many years, fishermen had been victimized by government uh, policies, including the 10 uh, airport core projects, uh, reclamation uh, near Penny's Bay, and then the dredging of the seabed so that the sludge 
would have to be placed there, and in several locations uh, that is, they have been designated as sludge um, uh, dumping area. So they've been designated by the administration so that a big hole would be dredged uh, into the seabed, and then for sludge uh, dredge uh, elsewhere, including West Kowloon, and also for uh, the river training um, programs, uh, so that uh, the uh, river channels have to be uh, dug, and uh, they will also have to uh, put into these uh, sludge pits. And as a result, um, uh, the waters uh, in the area would become very smelly. I've also talked to some fishermen, and they've told us that uh, in Lantau South, uh, they have uh, 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 taken out uh, some of the fish net. No fish was caught and uh, the net uh, became very smelly. That's probably because uh, there had been some illegal uh, dumping, and in the 90s, uh, that used to be a very serious problem. Well, the problem is still very much there, and uh, we do not rule the possibility that uh, some of the sludge has been dumped in recent years. But then with regard to contamination of the seabed, that would also affect uh, the inshore uh, operations because there are two types of uh, fishing. One would be offshore, the other would be inshore. And in recent years, for inshore fishing, because of government policies, uh, this problem has been rather serious, and in some cases, it might even be uh, fatal. And if the administration or the department has not played its role, it has not offered any positive assistance uh, to the fishermen to. Uh, remedy the situation, and no compensation has been offered. Yes, uh, according to government policy, if certain um, area of waters have been affected, uh, then of course they would also be given extra share payment. But then, how about other policies? Are there any ways to reinstate the marine ecology so that fishermen's livelihood can be improved? We haven't seen any effect yet. If you look at this item. I was quite surprised um, to find that um, long hair is rather familiar with the work of the AFCD in this regard. And if you look at 2014-15, uh, in, in terms of uh, staff establishment under Program 2, we have uh, 1,195 staff, and then under Program 3, 531, Program 1, 335. And in terms of staff emoluments, uh, much of that uh, would be on Program 2. And if you pr look at Program 1, it's about uh, egg and fisheries uh, and also the, uh, food, uh, uh, the fresh food uh, market. And a lot of work is involved here. I'm not going to read that out in detail. as. Uh, the major work uh, in the coming year would include uh, updating uh, our legislation and by enforcing the ban on trawling and so on. Well, from these activities, you can see that uh, one of its responsibilities is to impose this ban. And of course, uh, there are government uh, requirements uh, after the trawling license have been um, recovered or has been surrendered to the administration. There are different types of uh, fishing vessels after their licenses have been um, handed back to the government in terms of the fish fish products through the wholesale chain. There would also be regulation, and then the AFCD will have to ensure that after the commencement of the legislation, if there are such vessels uh, still exist still still in existence, their products would not be available in the market. So that's uh, very much their top priority. If you look at the description of their work. So for what uh, can genuinely help the fishermen, well, not much is there. Yes, part of it says that uh, they have got, well, they will, uh, and sh they will continue to work with the uh, Sustainable Development or Sustainable uh, Fisheries uh, Committee in order to uh, restore fisheries resources. <laughs> If you talk about restoring marine resources, they have completely failed. For instance, over 20 years ago, the government already undertook to deploy artificial reefs in at many different spots. That is, um, throwing um, um, old ships or, or tires there. In some places like Taiwan, they built six-story high or six-layer high concrete, six-story high concrete, because of uh, different. Um, Death of water. There could be different species of fish. In Hong Kong, we use uh, simple 
artificial reef, which is very different. So in Hong Kong, this policy of restoring marine resources is not being executed properly and it's not been effective. In Taipo, Saikong, and some places, um, their designated marine park. But uh, environmentalists are concerned that uh, development or planning on land may cause harm to the marine park. But then the problem is for land development, there is no need to do um, marine impact assessment first. So the government could always zone sites for residential development or uh, they could zone places as village environs. And then they do not uh, first assess the impact on marine habitat nearby before they actually proceed with the planning and development. So, in this uh, program, we see this is what they say they would do, but actually they can't get it done. Now, I'd like to point out that it is not entirely the responsibility of officers in the Agriculture and Fisheries Conservation Department I know some in the department are really keen to help the farmers, fishermen, and they want to cons uh, preserve our, our habitat. But then given the structure of the AFCD, unless uh, uh, in terms of development, resources, distribution, um, agriculture and fishery development, the department is not able to do much. Well, there are a lot of... Um, Doc, uh, PhD holders in AFCD, they do a lot of research and studies, but they are not able to help fishermen properly. Now, of course, in the AFCD, there are various um, functions. F for instance, um, assisting farmers to capture high-value market niches by providing technical advice on organic cultivation and intensive greenhouse production. Well, that's the um, trend all around the world uh, for the farming industry. You go to other places where there are farms, you see they are now doing greenhouse production a lot. Because greenhouse production is more cost effective. And there could be um, more, com uh, there, there could be comprehensive control over the growth of the crops. So that's why, uh, with better control, the quality of the crop would be better and also profit would be higher because um, there would be less impact from temperature changes or air quality. So greenhouse production is good. In Hong Kong there is now more greenhouse production, but then a major problem is it's difficult to sell the products or the produce. Um, two years ago, I helped a s small group of organic farmers to set up an association. It is hoped that through the establishment of the association, they could find a way to sell their organic produce. Now, these are all small organic farmers. They have no bargaining power with supermarkets. And also, you know, the produce is not stable. Maybe you have a crop um, harvest um, this two weeks, but not the next two weeks. So... There is no stability in terms of the harvest, and maybe this week they're able to produce cherries and next week vegetables and whatever. So if the government is really keen to help the organic farmers, now that is, it says here to provide technical advice 
and to capture high value market niches. Well, then the retail points are important. I know that uh, at the Century, Central Ferry Pier on the third floor on Saturday and Sunday, there's a place there for people to sell their organic produce. Uh, I'll speak again on this later. Thank you. Does any other member wish to speak, Mr. Ray Chen? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now the issues we target in this session um, uh, are unsettling because uh, they are about poverty, uh, the elderly, health care and so on. Yesterday we talked about euthanasia and then for the elderly people living at the Dills Corner home, um, they are going to have a tough time and so that's why some members supported um, slashing the pay of uh, Matthew Jung. And today, what I'm going to talk about is, all, is equally uh, sad. It's, had, it's not the first time I talked about it. Head 37, Department of Health. In this um, round, I want to focus on dental service. Well, I could talk for three days on dental service, but uh, I hope that uh, it, maybe in two or three rounds, I'm able to uh, uh, speak on the issue. And then head 151, amendment number 141, 142, 144, 151. I'd like to speak on these amendments. Uh, th this is the first time I speak on this group of amendments all to do with the, um, ex the budget of the Department of Health and Dental Service. The uh, scope of amendment I'm proposing covers um, uh, various levels. The harshest amendment is to c cut the full year's budget of the Department of Health on dental service. Uh, and there's another amendment to cut the full year budget of the outreaching dental service to some $25 million. Well, it may be the full year's budget, but the absolute amount compared to the dental service needs in Hong Kong is a drop in the bucket. And there's another amendment to cut the budget half uh, by uh, the equivalent of half year of the, the budget on dental service, $12.5 million, or to cut the um, full year's uh, personal emoluments of dental surgeons. $1.9 million for one post. Uh, it's really sad to talk about this. You might ask, am I getting tired? No, not really. It's just that uh, in yesterday and today's debate, we are touching on issues that uh, cause us much distress. Now, Mr. Leung Kwok Hong is uh, proposing to slash part of the estimate or the full estimate for this um, item, because uh, so he's trying to remind the people of Hong Kong that we are an affluent society, but what can't, we can't even provide basics or an essential services to the to the public, especially elderly. Now there's a book um, called Ti uh, Toothless Tiger. In a relatively affluent society, those in power uh, have no regard to people's needs and uh, launch appropriate measures so it's the disadvantage who will suffer. Yeah, you can you see that elderly people try to save and call so before dawn they start queuing up for a chip at uh, the public dental service but still they may not get a place. So you see how colors this society is. I wonder if you still have this book on your bookshelf. Have you ever read it? The Tigerless the toothless tiger in Chinese, that um, tiger um, is, uh, um, sounds the same as suffering. So it's about the suffering and the pain of the elderly. Now this book was compiled by an alliance uh, on the rights of uh, elderly to dental service. Now if you have this book, please uh, 
read it again uh, before you decide whether you will support uh, Mr. Lan Kwok Hong's four amendments. It's true this alliance at the beginning of this year when John Zhang, the financial secretary, delivered his budget, came to this council to petition us. Now we see old people in their 70s, 80s. They come all the way from Tin Shui Wai and the North District to Lechko. They may only see the principal officials for a few seconds. As members, we should feel sorry for them. What are we asking for? We are asking for universal retirement protection as soon as possible. We ask for a dental outpatient clinics at all 18 districts. And um, there should be a system for elderly to age in Hong Kong. These are our modest requests, three modest requests. Now, we have proposed over a thousand amendments or oh, Mr. Leung has done so, it's because we want to fight for universal retirement protection. Last year, he asked if we wouldn't do universal retirement protection, would we at least provide universal dental service? If that's the case, then he would accept it. But the administration never responded to that to his request. But other members said there are many other ways to put pressure on the government. Of course, we have tried all those other ways. Now, we've asked questions at council meetings. We've, ex uh, we've uh, pursued the matter at uh, panels, finance committees, even at the complaints um, division. Now, at the uh, complaints division, I actually met with the two officials on dental service of the Department of Health. At um, council meetings, we also moved motions on the matter. We've exhausted all other avenues. And today we are adopting this approach uh, that is um, amending the appropriation bill to force the administration to face up to the issue. Now, well, I said uh, we could hold a public hearing, ask the elderly to come and speak for three minutes, but I, I'm torn if uh, I should do this. Well, yeah, could, would it be like... Um, um, Grandma Yu, while well, she uh, used foul language, but she meant uh, she was just speaking her mind, and Hong Kong people agree with her. Now, is it really that difficult to set up outpatient dental clinics at all 18 districts of Hong Kong? Is it that they don't have the money? The government will tell you they don't have the money, but rather it's because they don't have the policy, or at the end of the day, they just don't care. Are our teeth important? You might say they are the least important, or you could say our teeth are the most important. The least important, why? Because it's not an organ that's to do with the life or death of a person. I could, uh, you know, break all your teeth, you don't have a single tooth left, but you won't die. But why do we say teeth are also our most important organ? You know, when you have a toothache, you know how painful it is. And also, teeth are like the gatekeeper of our oral, uh, of all our oral organs. You know, whether we're able to eat and um, be nourished, it depends on our teeth. Dental services provided by the Department of Health have always been criticized. They don't have enough resources and manpower. And uh, the government, uh, publicizes uh, that uh, people should at least have a dental check once every year and uh, clean their teeth properly. But according to uh, some surveys, 90% uh, of the community rarely have a dental checkup and less than 20% uh, of uh, those surveyed have the habit to use dental floors. While the Department of Health has spent a lot of money to uh, publicize this, uh, protect your health, uh, to um, prevent uh, gingivitis, However, some people in Hong Kong have never paid to uh, see a dentist because it's far too expensive. So does that mean that the people of Hong Kong do not attach importance to dental health?
because of a lack of dental care? Of course not. You just have to visit supermarkets and also um, commercials on the TV, um, selling uh, tooth uh, brushes and toothpaste. Hong Kong people would like to have healthy teeth, but young people have uh, bad teeth, dental decay. Of course, uh, the oral rinse and um, and uh, toothpaste uh, commercials cannot help. Of course, uh, the secretary would say that uh, such commercials are important because uh, they can uh, tell Hong Kong people to adopt a preventive approach. So if uh, their teeth are healthy, then uh, even when they grow, they've grown old, uh, the teeth are still healthy. There will be uh, less grievances, and the pressure on dental services would be lower. Well, you can say that uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, former government was to blame. But what about the responsibility of this term of government? The government and the Department of Health have not taken this issue seriously. Well, for dental care, you need money and time. Uh, um, you know, do you know how much does it take uh, for you to um, uh, to have a, a Tooth fill filling, well, it can be hundreds of thousands of uh, to thousands of dollars. Do you think that is affordable to ordinary people? And do you know uh, you uh, have uh, to pay four five hundred dollars uh, for removal of plaque? And some uh, say that if uh, you pay for a dental cleanup, then uh, it's like being robbed. Scaling is so expensive. Elders never dream of um, having a scaling. They think that so long as they can eat, that is okay. That is, uh, if they can swallow their food, that is good enough. So either they cook their food until it is uh, uh, like puree. By that time, uh, the nutrition is lost, or they just uh, chew it a few times and swallow it. We all know that our teeth is uh, the first part of our digestive system. If uh, your teeth is not are not working well, then you rely on your stomach. If your teeth are not healthy, your stomach can't be healthy too. So it's worthwhile to invest more in uh, dental care for the elderly in particular. Uh, elders will have improved health, uh, their stomach, their digestive system, and uh, bowel movements uh, will be uh, so much improved. So why can't our government do it? Uh, for um, uh, grassroots, even if uh, their uh, gum is Bleeding, they wouldn't care. They think that perhaps uh, they have uh, bruised their gum uh, while um, uh, while uh, brushing their teeth, and then uh, by the time it's too late, uh, they go to see a doctor, and uh, it's very effective. And then they know uh, that um, they are suffering from they're suffering uh, from this problem. Uh, you know, I, uh, you have uh, to uh, wait for a long time before you can get an appointment with a dentist. So dental health is uh, rather a tall order for these people. Uh, many elders uh, get very anxious uh, as soon as they uh, sit on the uh, dental chair. They won't visit a dental clinic until it is a last resort. Uh, health, we have the health um, voucher. Uh, people can use it for a massage uh, with a Chinese medical practitioner, and people uh, worry that uh, with too many uh, health vouchers issued, uh, the uh, doctors may benefit too much. And we ask whether we can have um, dental vouchers for the elderly, and uh, the government says that 
uh, health vouchers can be used to see a dentist. But of course, elderly persons uh, would not want to use health vouchers to consult a dentist because they don't know whether come next month they will uh, have a fatal disease. It's okay if they do not treat uh, their uh, dental problem, but if you have an, a major disease, you will die if you do not treat it. So we asked whether we can have separate vouchers for uh, seeing a GP and uh, for seeing a dentist, respectively. I uh, told the government that uh, there will certainly be no abuse of dental vouchers. People will not ha have their teeth extracted for no reason. Well, while we... I think uh, you have repeated um, what we said in a motion debate on uh, dental health policy. Mr. Chang Kim Po, I would like to comment on um, uh, Mr. Leung's uh, amendment number 26. Uh, that is uh, to uh, cut the uh, Food and Health Bureau for uh, provision for public consultation on the uh, health protection scheme. As we all know, uh, the government has talked about the HPS for a number of years. Unfortunately, uh, the scheme has uh, been uh, tinkled, uh, with so, tempered with so much uh, by the Bureau that the benefits to the public are now greatly reduced. If uh, the Bureau is to uh, bulldoze uh, this HPS, I'm afraid it will not be welcomed by the public. So I think Mr. Wong Kyuk mans amendment has a point. Uh, however, I l want to explain to the public uh, what uh, is the difference between a really useful HPS and uh, the one amend uh, the amended version by the government. Uh, the original HPS uh, was based on the um, findings of this public consultation document, and I'm going to uh, extract quite a lot of uh, things from this report. Uh, there are uh, several objectives uh, to. Uh, promote DRG so that uh, even private hospitals can provide packaged care and uh, fees. The merits are we can allay the uh, various concerns of the public. People are concerned that uh, uh, costs in the private health uh, sector are escalating and you cannot predict uh, how much uh, the bill uh, would become and um, and uh, the transparency is also low. And the second objective is to uh, improve the current uh, medical insurance uh, schemes. And uh, the intention is to enhance consumer protection. And as we all know, uh, the products will, of course, be more expensive as a result. Second, to provide a subsidy of $50 billion so that under the HBS, medical or fiscal incentives uh, um, will be provided, and there will also be resources for improving um, quality of care. Uh, there will uh, be a high risk. Um, uh, there will be a high risk pool, and there will be a tax uh, concessions for contributions, so and so forth. The original HPS uh, is very clear. The intention is to safeguard uh, consumer interests and uh, to enhance uh, transparency in. Uh, in the um, uh, charging system of uh, the private sector. In the regional package, we know that with so many merits, uh, premiums are bound to increase. To ensure that uh, the uh, premiums are affordable, uh, $50 billion have been set aside to uh, offer discounts uh, for people who are taking our medical insurance for the first time or who are renewing um, their medical insurance to ensure that even healthy young persons are willing uh, to join schemes to have uh, shared uh, costs. Now, what about uh, this? Uh, refined a uh, package uh, by the government. Uh, can you please uh, tell me uh, what amendment you're on? Mr. Wong, your commence amendment number uh, 676. Uh, to cut uh, the uh, full year provision for public consultation of uh, the HPS at $2.6 million, uh, head 146. All right, let me tell you uh, what will be the HPS the government uh, 
uh, is proposing now. They have commissioned a consultancy, and they have uh, no intention uh, to um, uh, to put, to introduce TLG. TLG. As a result, there will be great loss to the public because they can no con they have no control over inflation. And they cannot uh, see any improvement in the transparency in the charging system of the private sector. I think they have not done the most important thing, and that is to um, enhance the transparency in the charging system of the private sector. And then uh, the administration I would like to uh, work out the uh, major items uh, covered by uh, uh, by HPS. We have uh, worked very hard with the government to confirm 12 items, and all of a sudden, the government is requiring all uh, medical schemes to uh, fulfill this 12 items as uh, the minimum. In future, you can only take out expensive uh, coverage and not uh, the more affordable coverage. So they've removed uh, choices for the public. And they're going to take away all the fiscal incentives for encouraging people to take out insurance, and uh, only a uh, very little will be left. Uh, first time discounts and also renewal discounts will not be available, and the only incentive left is tax uh, rebate for premiums. And I think uh, this is uh, not conducive um, to um, encouraging people to take out medical insurance. There is no way you can uh, control. Um, the uh, escalation of um, fees. I think they're a few years away from 2016-17 when the HPS will be launched. And uh, the more cooperative the insurance sector is, uh, the more they are suppressed. People are not allowed to take out cheaper schemes, and I think they have uh, taken away a choice of the people. So this is not a good system. Compare the two um, versions, you can see the benefits to the public will be greatly reduced, and as a result, more and more people will go to the public sector for treatment. So uh, the uh, revised version is not worthy of our support. Well, starting from 2005, I have been involved in this study. We have spent nine years in uh, Research and uh, consultation. If we uh, shelve the matter now, I don't think we'll have the opportunity of uh, revisiting this again. I want the public consultation to proceed, but I urge the administration to uh, cause cohort to uh, the current uh, direction uh, instead of this counterfeit. Uh, HPS program, it should go back to the original version. I uh, oppose Mr. Wong Yok Man's amendment. Thank you. Does any member wish to speak? Mr. Long Kuhong, good morning, Chairman. I uh, uh, speak uh, uh, to, I'd like to target at Ms. Uh, Raymond Chen and also Mr. Chen Kim Paul's motion. What 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 amendments are you at, Mr. Chen? Mr. Raymond Chen's amendment uh, to uh, cut the provision for Department of Health on uh, dental services. Well, time really flies. A year ago, we uh, said that if the Administration will not provide universal retirement uh, uh, protection. Can there be universal dental uh, coverage for the elderly? And this then, and after that, uh, there are two more clinics set up. Uh. But then, in terms of the overall improvement, none has been made whatsoever. In other words, if you kick them um, once, then um, they'll move. They'll take a small step forward. And yet there has been no comprehensive scheme available. So when will every district uh, be provided with at least uh, one dental clinic? And what kind of dental services are we talking about? So if we are just uh, talking about extraction, that's not meaningful at all. According to the administration, don't wor they are saying that, uh, well, don't worry, we, don't have, we do have extraction services. But then after the tooth has been removed, uh, then um, what is going to happen to them? So I'm almost an elderly now, so I know the more teeth that have been removed, uh, then without uh, 
uh, giving them uh, a replacement, then actually it's going to be worse. All right, uh, Raymond Chen is going to cut everything. I think uh, that's not going to help at all because the demand by elderly for dental services uh, is really very high. Yesterday, I also uh, went to see a dentist the day before yesterday. It's Wednesday. I didn't have enough time for that because I said that I had to rush back for a meeting. And therefore, uh, the dentist said that, uh, well, you will have to uh, complete your work before you come back. All right. Uh, as a lawmaker, the benefit that I get is that I do have uh, dental benefit. What well, we've been calling for this and we've been saying that uh, we have to have a dental clinic in every district. Uh, it's not something that uh, just uh, came up from the blue. In fact, if you've been to if you've been to the districts, uh, then when you ask an elder on the street, all right, if you are a doctor, then of course uh, you would ask the patient what your problem is. And then when you walk along the street and if you chat with one of the elderly uh, women, then uh, she'd be very uh, frank with you, and uh, they would tell you that uh, all right, if you'd been to the district yourself, then there is no way that you can be unaware of this. There are a lot of anxieties amongst the elders. The problem is we don't think that there is a dental clinic in every district, and apparently the administration does not think that this is a serious problem. Well, for elders, apparently, um, you think that the administration thinks that uh, so long as there are health vouchers, then uh, that's okay because uh, the amount has been increased. I don't know which official came up with the uh, great idea. All right, uh, you can use the coupons and then you can go to see a dentist or you can also go and see a dermatologist. But no, that's not the way to respond to our aspiration. So apparently you're saying that I'm giving you more money and then you can um, make your make up your own mind and go and see a dentist. And there is no need for us to set up a dental clinic in each and every district. Well, it's not that I don't understand your logic. The thing is, I don't agree with your logic. Once again, I like to say this to Dr. Ko Wing Man. Well, Raymond Chen is not going to understand it. Once again, I'd like to say this to you. Well, according to the elders, after they have got the health vouchers, most of them would be using them for what? Well, if given a choice, they would not be using it at all, or they would just be using it shortly before they expire. That's the way they use it, and it's also uh, the downside of these uh, health coupons. So it's like government spending. Before the um, uh, before the end of the financial year, they're going to use up everything, so that uh, nothing will be left unused. So if this is the way you try and resolve the problem or the um, uh, short supply of dental services for the elders, then that's not going to work. This year, I'd like to say this to uh, John Zhang once again. Well, yesterday, he managed to win a lot of limelight. But then uh, please go and take a look at the uh, dental condition of uh, some of the elders. Well, indeed, he has done something about it. Raymond Chen said that uh, if you can uh, cook your food until it's almost like a pure, like it's almost like puree, it's, it's okay. So if you're not able to chew, then you can always uh, use meat, and then you can cook congee with it, uh, and then you'll be able to eat it. So first thing about dental services, I think that the administration. Um, has not been doing anything at all, and therefore it doesn't have any credibility. All right, some improvements have been made. I understand that, yet it's uh, uh, far from adequate. And then, as Raymond Chen said, how come the administration is not going to consult and whether or not uh, the uh, uh, money should be spent on the HPS uh, scheme? All right, uh, since the release of the Harvard report, I think uh, it's already dusted. Well, you've already responded to the Harvard report, and in the report, uh, you said that uh, some of the recommendations uh, are good, others not uh, uh, that good. 
And that's why、uh, we said that、uh, you should、uh, set up a fund、uh, for a mandatory scheme. So it's like what I'm proposing for universal retirement, so that so that you can set aside some money, and then people will have、uh, the confidence that you're going to do it. Well, people are saying that、uh, well without anything. All right, it's been ten years now, and what I'm saying is,、uh, why don't you just、uh, set aside、uh, 50 billion dollars for universal retirement protection? So the same is the same logic, and my target is e- even more clear, and uh, uh, the、uh, timeline is even clearer. But then people are blaming me for being irresponsible. Well, it's not just that、uh, this year you don't need a consultation at all. Even during the Donald Trump era, there's no need for this consultation because、uh, for health protection, is supposedly to be set up to make up for the shortfall in public healthcare services, so that members of the pub- public will be able to patronize the private sector. That's the logic. So from the market's perspective, that's the case. And then the government is actually shifting. Is、uh, healthcare responsibility to the private sector? But then, during the Donald Trump era, well,、uh, he asked、uh, people to come over to Hong Kong to give birth. To give birth, well, public hospitals uh, uh, are bursting to their seams. All right,、uh, we don't have a ha- have as much money as they have. So why bother about、uh, healthcare insurance? Because even if you have uh, uh, insurance coverage,、uh, you won't be able to use healthcare services at all. So, what's the difficulty in、um, governance in Hong Kong? Well, what you have in mind is that、uh, you would be using overseas customers to subsidize the local private healthcare sector, so that they'll be able to make big bucks, and then you're actually helping them to build more hospitals in order to make. Big money, then、uh, it's a waste of time working on healthcare insurance. That's why, from that perspective, I think this consultation might be quite useful because、uh, those people are not able to come over to give birth anyway, and that would also automatically resolve the problem of a short supply. Or else, what's the point of taking out an insurance policy? The purpose of taking out an insurance policy is to make sure that, uh, not, uh, well, Jasper, Jasper, down, you'll be able to live till.、Um, A hundred years old. All right,、uh, you have a panacea, and you're distributing it、uh, to everybody. But then,、uh, your turn is a is、uh, a millions. So what does that help? So that's because of the imbalance of our healthcare services. And as a result,、uh, the HPS、um, has been frozen. So for the fifty billion dollars, it's、uh, not going to be used. And now you're trying to take that out again because、uh, it's been frozen for too long a time. And if you continue to do it that way, then it will not be able to help at all. So you should have、um, admitted、uh, your mistake. And now. You are going to spend the five、uh, million dollars on the consultation. Well, nobody would be willing to give you the money to do the consultation because、uh, you're trying to gloss over your past mistakes. So it's just uh, a, f- a PR、um, gadget. So you have already got preconceived ideas. All right, if you don't die until、um, year one hundred,、uh, so. Uh, would you be happy if I give you one million dollars? Then of course everybody would be happy. So what's the purpose of this kind of consultation? You will have to do something concrete. Number one, as I just said, you would have to show your commitment. All right, long hair, fifty billion dollars.、Uh, the OALA, we won't be able to do it. So you should have shown your commitment, so that、uh, for all elders in the community. Well, you, we should have a clinic for everyone. We should have this、uh, dental clinic. All right,、uh, John Zhang. Well, why don't you give them five hundred five thousand dollars a coupon? Is that okay? Would that be feasible? No, that's not feasible. So there is no point talking about it. Well, to criticize you on your failings.、Uh, well, there is a catalog of、uh, the mistakes that you have made. So I've already mentioned two here. It shows how incompetent you have been. So for the fifty billion dollars, all right, I don't understand Chen Kin Po at all. I don't understand his logic. All right, you know very well that、uh, the consultation is a fake one. All right,、uh, you've been you've spent so much money to buy a knife to kill people. So why are you still giving them the money to buy the knife to kill to kill somebody?
Well, in fact, uh, for our healthcare services, we have to redesign that all, all over again. And then the administration has to um, submit its homework. Well, what it is proposing when compared to the Harvard report, well, well, even if we spent two days on it, we won't be able to understand this. So what the administration has to formulate its policy first, or else when you go out to consult the public, well, you should not be consulting the public on the policy that you're going to formulate. You should have set down your own target, and then it's for lawmakers to monitor your performance. So you have to have your policy target before you can formulate uh, the initiatives. So it all boils down to this. When CY Leung has this uh, policy initiative or target that is in due course, he would be saving up a sum of money for retirement protection, then what I'm saying is right. So you have to have the target, you have to have the policy, and then you save money for that purpose. So I'm asking you to set aside $15 billion for the universal retirement protection. I'm, am I killing your whole family? Am I uh, making things so difficult for you that it's not feasible? All right, uh, Raymond Wong is saying that uh, they should not be allowed to conduct a consultation. I think there is reasoning behind this because uh, the kitchen, well, you, you've been uh, taking out this uh, dish uh, hot from the kitchen, and yet you're putting it in the freezer, and then you're asking us whether or not you should uh, 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 reheat it, uh, uh, and then we can uh, consume it again. So do you have a policy at all? You're wasting our time. But then this morning, um, I'm gasping for air. That's why, please. Uh, uh, count the quorum. Thank you.
Now go here and see if I can do it. Mr. Lan Kwa Hong. Oh, Mr. Lan Kwa Hong is not here. Mr. Po Jie. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have no intention to lengthen the filibustering, but then when lies are told so many times, they become the truth. And even people ask uh, on the street that, uh, you know, what they say seems to make sense. How come you don't respond and you don't support that? So that's why every time I wish I have the chance to um, point out the lies or what uh, doesn't make sense. Now, Mr. Albert Chen and Mr. Ray Chen um, focused on dental service. Now, of course, for all policies, they have been debated in this council. And uh, when it comes to funding, also it's been debated at Finance Committee before the funding is approved. Now, yesterday, for example, they proposed to slash the uh, remuneration for all functional constituencies members because they said that uh, it is the, um, the minority who could veto the majority. But here is actually the majority hijacking the minority hijacking the majority and hijacking also um, decisions passed by the majority. Now, on individual policies, last night there was mention of stray dogs and uh, also the inadequacies in dental service, but I believe they should be dealt with at other occasions. Because um, the policies have been passed, they shouldn't hijack this council at the last minute and uh, de deny that such uh, policies the necessary funding. It's not right. And also, it's like the second bite of the cherry. Um, they're just trying to drag things out at the last minute. So they're just stirring up trouble. And also, in terms of justice, in different places, different countries, there may be injustice that people uh, can't put up with, for example, in Vietnam, maybe people there feel that um, they've been suppressed by the Chinese over the years. That's why they've resorted to violence. In this council, where we see there is unfairness or injustice, doesn't mean that we should put up with it. But then the means they resort to, maybe they don't uh, cause bloodshed, but then it's still an extremist, a terrorist approach. So we just want people to know what this council is doing. Does any other member wish to speak? Mr. Chairman, I welcome Mr. Porter's response, but I really don't follow what his criticisms on me are. He kept saying that people are wrong, people not making sense, um, being frivolous, but um, the uh, examples we quoted on the issues we pointed out, we don't see him making concrete response. And, um, you know, this debate has degenerated into uh, pointing fingers to for a political end, but uh, there is no substance in the debate. And so um, the quality of um, debate in this chamber is sliding. Now, he, he, he named uh, long hair and... Ray Chan, he didn't mention me. Perhaps uh, he agreed with me then. Well, it's good to have a debate, whether you speak or not. And, and of course, how long the meeting will last, uh, that will be for the chairman to, or the president to decide. On my criticisms against the Agricultural Fisheries and Conservation Department, AFCD, in particular, support for organic farming. You know, in the AFCD, they do not have a comprehensive policy. In other countries or a, a place, they have a strategy. You know, our great motherland, they like to use terms like strategic plans or strategic policies, whatever. In farming... Um, in some places like Singapore, there is a requirement that local f farming must produce about 10% of the uh, consumption for the country. It's to make sure that local farm produce uh, reaches a certain quantity um, so they don't have to rely completely on imports. And also, uh, during critical periods, uh, there could be adjustment to local production uh, in ensuring supply. It also helps to stabilize prices. But in Hong Kong, we don't have such a policy.
For instance, recently we talked about uh, power generation. The Hong Kong Electric um, Company, uh, you know, is also very brave to say that uh, we shouldn't rely on the import of um, electricity generation. That's a retrogression. But then they don't say that about water and so on. It's only because the power touches on the interests of uh, the Chen Kuang Group. You. For food produce, if AFCD really wants to help, as stated in its policy, the development of organic farming and uh, high value added products, then it has to have a package of measures. Land supply, there is no policy on uh, providing uh, how much land for farming uh, and how much uh, should. Be uh, for uh, vegetables. How much for uh, paddy? How much uh, for uh, poultry? Uh, how much uh, for pigs? There should be policies, and uh, we don't need all of them to be farmland. In other countries, they have vertical farming. Uh, they have uh, buildings uh, with uh, different stories allocated for different types of. Uh, Plants. I visited a uh, high tech uh, farms recently uh, the, for uh, the growing of uh, truffles and uh, very expensive uh, beans, legumes. So there is room for such developments. If uh, the AFD the, is really interested in helping the development of high value added from farm produce, then it should provide the right resources, manpower training, and give uh, retail support. Because many small scale organic farmers have uh, serious problems in finding outlets for their products. Uh, some may be selling their own uh, farm produces uh, at uh, exits of MTR or they set up a store near their home and they are usually driven away by FHD. In our markets, there are so many vacant stores. Such farmers do not have uh, produce available every day. They cannot afford a fixed pitch and uh, they cannot afford the rent. So if possible, I think uh, the government should provide an organic uh, farm fair at each district and uh, you would charge them a reasonable uh, rent so that there can be outlets for such farm producers. I'm sure uh, this will be of a great help to uh, such farming. So you look at the administrative arrangements and the deployment of resources. Sometimes there is a mismatch. Sometimes uh, the measures are window dressing only to tell the community and farmers that we are helping you. But the administrative costs may be exorbitant. Why don't you spend the money on uh, actual support by providing farms, for instance, I think that would be more productive. Uh, I was on Program 1, AF and Fresh Food Wholesale Markets. Uh, one of uh, the um, um, one of uh, the uh, measures here is to provide technical assistance, credit facilities. Well, even if you are providing support and credit facilities, is that in line with uh, the trend of development of this industry? For instance, uh, you may want to uh, provide 10% of uh, the uh, local demand. You must have clear targets so that they know for sure what should be the uh, market share and they know for sure that there are outlets for their products so that they can plan carefully. If you do not have other policies to support them, Agriculture development can't be steady here, and uh, prices will also fluctuate too much, and this will undermine development of farming in Hong Kong. According to many farmers, food prices, including uh, that of pay pork and uh, also poultry, uh, well, uh, in fact, uh, we can uh, produce uh, pigs and poultry in Hong Kong.
uh, if uh, land costs are reasonable. Now, because farmland is so expensive in the past, uh, you can get a reasonable size farm at about a hundred dollars per square foot. And in the past, you could even do it at sixty dollars per square foot. Now, it is fifteen hundred dollars per square foot for farmland. So, if uh, the rent has increased tenfold, how can farmers uh, rehabilitate? Well, you have uh, to pay close to a thousand dollars to buy a square foot of land or rent a square foot of land. This is impossible. Now, for uh, wholesale and retail prices of high end uh, vegetables and melons and a uh, fresh poultry and also pork, now even pig farmers are saying that the uh, re the retail price of pork has made it possible or to have made uh, pig farming in Hong Kong viable. However, um, most of these uh, pig farmers have uh, surrendered their licenses to the government. To promote the development of pig farming, there must be uh, infrastructural support, supply of land and uh, technical assistance. There must be heavy investment before uh, agriculture and uh, fisheries uh, can thrive in Hong Kong. When it comes to fisheries, well, because uh, trawling is now banned and uh, there is the problem of shrimp boats. And uh, for, far, for fishermen uh, uh, practicing inshore farming, well, they uh, may be practicing in Chang Chow, south of Lantau and Peng Chow. They have uh, boats and vessels uh, fishing uh, to the south of Lantau. Uh, the uh, fish court was supplied to uh, markets in Chang Chow. They need a small store, six by four feet, and two or three fishermen uh, may share one store. Uh, any fisherman that uh, can uh, sell his catch there. These retail outlets have provided room for fishermen to survive. I was party to uh, this fight. Uh, the um, Urban Services Council, uh, you may recall that uh, fishermen were selling their catch at the pier and uh, FHD would uh, arrest them. And then because of the Chang Chow market there, a few fish fishermen can uh, jointly operate a fish store. They won't be operating like uh, stores in large markets or supermarkets. They have to go fishing at uh, daytime and they come back in the afternoon and they sell their catch at the store in the afternoon. So it is more like a family business than a proper enterprise. And this is allowed uh, um, family uh, business family uh, fishermen to, uh, to survive. Otherwise, uh, the fishermen will have to sell their catch by the roadside and they will be driven away or catch by FHD and they certainly cannot practice anymore because um, uh, being arrested and uh, paying fines will be uh, rather intimidating. They won't want to continue their business like this. Because of these markets, because of the stores, we have helped fishermen to um, survive in Hong Kong. There aren't too many. In Chan Chow, there may be a dozen or so. In Mui Wu, two to three uh, fishermen families uh, continuing with their inshore fishing. So if AFCD wants to develop fisheries in Hong Kong, they cannot just rely on their own efforts. We propose to uh, delete the provision for the operating cost of uh, the um, Food and Health Bureau because of its inadequate support for the AFCD. And program one.
of the AFCD. The government has no intention or is unable to help to uh, and improve productivity and facilitate agricultural and fisheries production. If you look at the figures, uh, there's been little improvement. For instance, uh, for vegetables, uh, the production will be more or less uh, the same as last year, uh, 16,300 tons per year, compared against the uh, local demand or consumption, uh, you can see the uh, local production accounts for only a very small percentage of our local consumption. And for fisheries, it, uh, the production is estimated to be 170,000 tons from capture and 3,300 tons from culture. Well, we haven't seen any growth in fish culture. In fact, some of uh, the uh, fish uh, rafts are abandoned because they are not uh, properly located. When the f uh, locations of fish raft was identified, I think uh, some of them were chosen for geographical reasons or due um, to um, uh, to uh, for the sake of our navigation channel. And uh, the development is rather passive. A few years ago, I mentioned to the department that well, uh, there was a typhoon shelter at a uh, hailing child, but um, the facility is entirely wasted. It is now uh, used for abandoned vessels. I uh, rode past hailing child a few uh, not too long ago, and I saw a few abandoned vessels refuse. refuse. Uh, Heading Chai is so big, and uh, the water current there is excellent. Uh, why don't we uh, use it for a uh, fish culture zone? People say that Marwan is the best fish culture zone in Hong Kong because of the rapid uh, current there, and the uh, oxygen uh, concentration of water is very high, and as a result, uh, Productivity is high and death rate of fish is low. It has everything to do with the water quality there. Mr. Raymond Chen. Thank you, Chairman. Before I continue with my speech, I have to respond to uh, Mr. Lang Kuo Hong and Mr. Portier's e uh, questions. Mr. Long Kong said that today is the uh, chairman's birthday. I think it should be the birthday of Miss Miss Jang, and your birthday is tomorrow. Is am I correct, Chairman? Well, you have digressed. Well, because I was uh, uh, responding to remarks by Mr. Lang Kuo Hong, and Mr. Lang Kuo Hong said he uh, supported my proposal to um, remove uh, the whole year provision for the dental clinics uh, operated by the Department of Health. But let me clarify, amendments number one four one two uh, one uh, one four one four two one four four and one five one. These are his amendments. And uh, I am correcting him. I think uh, this is not the first time Mr. Long Kwa Hong has um, um, uh, uh, referred to his own amendments as others. Now, I'd like to comment on uh, Mr. Porter's speech. Mr. Tse said that this uh, joint debate uh, covers issues uh, that have been approved and discussed at panels. And because uh, uh, the minority here would like to uh, revisit uh, these issues and have them uh, overturned. Yes, this is correct. When we have motions to uh, slash a certain provisions, of course, uh, the one, the mover is a minority. Maybe a couple of members have uh, moved uh, these amendments where the minority would like to uh, take this opportunity to convince members to support us. For some reasons, uh, these policies have been approved in the past, but they, uh, some members may want to change their mind now. And many uh, areas in the draft estimate have not been thoroughly discussed by us. Uh, yesterday, last night, for instance, 
uh, Ms. Claudia Mo referred to $1.6 million for putting down animals. Who of us, for mercy killing, who of us have supported that? Those who have supported uh, such a motion, hands up please to tell the public. Tell the public that you support the $1.6 million funding for euthanasia of animals. And in relation to, to the $56.2 million of funding allocation to dental clinics under the D of H, Dental of Health, M members were not asked. There was no discussion. Had there been, then these, uh, well, the legislators who supported it uh, would have to be smacked or spanked. Um, because $56.2 million is, uh, is pittance. Every department should hand over its accounts and uh, for discussions to um, be conducted on every single item. If you support the administration that dental uh, clinics will, will should only get $56.2 million, please raise your hands and I ask you to speak. I support Mr. Leung's amendments because I think this amount is unreasonably low. I was reminded by the chairman that uh, in the previous joint debate, um, what I said should have been um, said in, a pa in panel meetings. And I would like to let you know the plight our elderly people are in, and I will focus on the specific uh, measures afterwards. This question has been asked many times. How many teeth uh, should uh, an elderly person has min um, to meet international standard? Ten. For an eight, uh, sorry, um, it's uh, for 80 year old, there should be at least uh, 20 teeth um, before the international uh, standard is met. The Alliance for the Welfare of uh, Elderly People criticized that the administration has no long-term commitment towards the health of our elderly people. Under the D of H, in the list, it says that there are only 11 dental clinics, one in Hong Kong Island, two Kowloon, and the rest uh, of uh, Hong Kong, eight. For these clinics, they are open to the public for maybe one session a week or just uh, one se two sessions a month with just about 100, um, 100 places. So altogether, over a month's time, uh, is less than 1,000. We did not agree, with, we did not endorse that. The administration said that um, that these clinics are not there for elderly people because they are there to take care of civil servants and their families. And still, it's not enough. And if you ask them to provide services to our elderly people, you are only adding to the uh, heavy burden of, the, of these clinics. And they only provide basic service to the public, uh, pain, um, pain relief and a tooth extraction. So um, if you're waiting for um, scaling and polishing and other uh, dental care, uh, don't hold your breath. There should be at least one government dental clinic outpatient, uh, outpatient clinic for elderly people and uh, the public. And at least provide uh, once one um, dental care and scaling service a month for uh, elderly people. For elderly people, this is basic yet important ser um, service. They should be taken care of by us. And um, there is also an in insufficient number of places in RCHEs, residential care homes for the elderly, and I'm going to talk about that later. Well, healthcare service is easy. Uh, sorry, um, clothes is very important. Uh, is not as essential because they can be reused and reused uh, for decades. For food, we're only asking our elderly people to be fed properly.
According to our custom, where after you you have died and your spirit is supposed to come back, and your family will lay out a nice meal for you. And and there is a saying that、uh, when the person has died, it doesn't me- really matter how grand a banquet you have provided you provide for them if you don't give them even a sweet bef- when they are alive. I'm not going to digress. Let me give you some examples. In Taipo, there is a dental clinic. There is only one session、um, Thursday morning, issuing forty-two places for the public. So, the elderly people will have to get up the night before to go there to queue. How come there are only forty-two places for just、um, one session? That is、uh, Thursday morning. Over a week. The reason is that there is not enough resources, and they said that、uh, they are already providing more service than they can. And they, and if we ask for more, they they said that we well, if that is not enough, we may as well take it back. Say, for example, when it comes to、um, the transport,、um, the L I F A, and、uh, if they are uh, not um, enough, then you may as well give them less, because now there is a two hundred and eight hours per month. They ask these elderly people to go、uh, elsewhere. For the、uh, seven,、um, for the seven clinics offering、um, dental, other dental service. So when it comes to priority, they are given to people who are suffering from、um, cancer. De- um, In 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 the mouth area. So these elderly people are asked to go to seek、um, treatment and care from orthodontic and maxo maxillofacial、um, clinics. Under program two, for twenty fourteen fifteen disease prevention, the budget sees an increase. Of ten、uh, percent, that is a two hundred and seventy-six million dollars compared to the previous year. The increase is a result of the launching of the、uh, dental sur- outreach dental service for elderly people. Mr. Leung Kwok Hong moved a number of、uh, amendments. They they involved a cut of the annual budget of the outreach dental care service. By twenty-five point one million dollars, the services for elderly people for twenty fourteen fifteen, the f- funding allocation has seen an increase of ten one hundred and four point six million dollars, an increase of about ten percent, and that is、uh, to s- strengthen. A dental service and healthcare service for、uh, for civil servants. Well, no wonder our elderly people told us that uh, um, being a civil servant is a very good job. Apart from pension, you can enjoy dental service throughout the week, not just a Thursday morning, because these dental clinics are for civil servants and their families only. And just now, I was talking about an increase of the amount of the.、Uh, Um, healthcare voucher, healthcare voucher, surf, healthcare voucher for the elderly. Now, the administration would like to make use of the、uh, outreach dental service for the elderly people and a, a regularize it and extend it to、um, scaling,、uh, filling, and care. If you compare the two sums, these. Increase for for、uh, enhancing service for the for civil servants and that for、uh, elderly people, which is more important. They just want to give、um, 
pro better benefit for civil service. They talk about eligible people. Who are these eligible people? They have neglected the need of, of our elderly people. They just want to provide service to the civil to civil servants so that they don't even have to queue. We're talking about elderly people who are in their 80s or 90s. Perhaps the only way is for them to go to mainland China to get a dental service. Mr. Albert Chan came across a case. The elderly person came back with a set of um, steel teeth um, because they are lasting and uh, they are um, they are good for wear and tear. So for one four one and one five one, these amendments are. Are measures to force the administration to review its dental service. I remember uh, I asked questions of the uh, FS, and the uh, standard answer I got from him was that when it comes to dental service, it's prevention and education. Prevention is better than cure. Yes, uh, you, I know that you are talking. So you are you want to save the children, but not. The um, the elderly, it, for primary school uh, students, uh, there is dental health care um, scheme. So you want to train them to take good care of their teeth, so that uh, their teeth won't won't uh, rot. And when they are sixties or eighties, they still have uh, a full set of teeth and good a good set as well. But when it comes to uh, people who are one foot in the grave, you won't take care of them because you because uh, they will die very soon. We ask for better care for elderly um, dental service, and you keep telling me, um, Secretary for um, Food and Health, that uh, prevention is better than cure. But you talk about prevention to an elderly person, um, an elderly lady. May may only have about uh, ten teeth or so. You're talking about uh, canal root treatment, scaling, bridge crowning, etc. It's they're very costly. It will cost them their life savings. Well, Miss uh, Mr. Lung, you said that well, if you don't give us universal retirement protection, how about universal dental protection? If you give them three thousand uh, dollars um, healthcare voucher for dental service, maybe he will uh, he will accept that. Mr. Lung, uh, I call for quorum.
Liang Guangyun, this is Fa Yufa Yu. Mr. Liang Guanghong, do you want to speak? Oh, yes, indeed, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Let me respond to the criticism made by Mr. Po Chair a bit. He said that uh, in this budget debate, uh, we took the opportunity to overthrow the things that were passed in other committees. Uh, that was kind of terrorism. That was um, a kind of abduction. Now, there are different kinds of terrorism. There is personal terrorism. Uh, I'm not. And there is also co collective terrorism or state terrorism. And in this chamber, we have seen state terrorism. There is a state machine which doesn't care about so many Hong Kong people who are suffering, including uh, the poor elderly whom I worked for. I fight for um, universal suffrage. Um, heavens are unkind, and they just uh, treat um, everything as uh, dogs to be killed. And the officials are unkind, and they just don't care about the uh, life and death of people. Well, let me uh, refer to the expenditure of uh, expend uh, expenditure on dental service. Uh, I just ask one thing: if the administration is not able to provide a dental clinic in one uh, one dental clinic in each of the nineteen districts, then the, said the speaker, then the administration should provide a cash subsidy to the elderly so that they can. Uh, rely on the private sector or the private practitioners to uh, deal with their dental problems. The ex that's the um, purpose of cutting the government's proposal, or the, gov the government's proposed budget on uh, dental clinics. I cannot support that. Um, I cannot support the funding, and therefore I have to delete the total funding because the uh, number. Uh, for the money for dental clinic um, is uh, lumped under one total sum. Now the administration should have dedicated fund a dedicated fund for a dedicated purpose. If you lump all the uh, purposes together and just give it a big sum, uh, that is not appropriate. There should be a suitable reallocation of resources. If you give a sum of money. To a social network which is very active, then it will use the money. If you give the money to somebody else who is not active, then he will just sit on that sum of money. If it is a dedicated sum of money for a dedicated purpose, then you put it into the accounts of the elderly. Okay, I'll stop here. Otherwise, uh, you criticize us of filibustering. We have too many things to say. I hope, Doctor Cowing Man. Um, uh, uh, I uh, um, uh, watch a video on his um, memoir. Of his memoir is about um, he uh, making a telescope. A telescope. Uh, I hope that uh, he would uh, have this persistence and stamina uh, to um, draw up a plan for dental care for the elderly, so that next year there will be care for there will be dental care for the elderly. Now, concerning the preventive measures, I, uh, you you use them as an a defense, but you need the dental clinics to have these uh, preventive measures. You cannot have scaling at home. Doctor Ko's argument is that we are not able to provide immediate cure. To dental problems of the elderly at present, the better way is to provide preventive measures. But that is only half truth. Now, if um, the tooth has decayed, uh, leave it. Forget about it. Now, um, um, I suffered a bad tooth, and then I uh, have to have a uh, root uh, canal operation, and then I. 
uh, my uh, decayed part of the tooth that was decayed uh, was taken away. If the elderly an elderly has lost um, seventeen tooth, the remaining fifteen are still okay. Then they still uh, he or she still need treatment. Uh, she, he or she should undergo an X-ray. I, I had a problem, and I a dental problem. And I had it uh, treated recently. These are clinical services. Doctor Ko was trying to slip in a different concept, a similar but different concept. The students' uh, dental service is a provider to students to uh, to uh, teach them how to care for their uh, teeth. Well, that's outdated. I would say uh, Dr. Ko should set up a separate fund and uh, serve uh, specific purposes to help the elderly. Uh, so do it, or and I, I'll leave it at that. Don't say I filibuster and you can't do it. Let me now turn to the full year personal emoluments of uh, the Secretary for Labour and Welfare. This council and also the uh, CTU, FTU have been uh, talking about uh, setting standard working hours. To borrow Mr. Porcher's words, this council has a clear resolution adopted. We think this should be done, and even the uh, CE candidate, Mr. C. Y. Leung, at that time, at that time, uh, was moved by this uh, resolution. He spoke of this very frequently. He said he would like Hong Kong people to have more time to upgrade their, themselves. Those who are working hard should have more off time. And the conclusion is that uh, he would uh, legislate uh, on uh, standard working hours during his term. That's what the community has agreed upon. Mr. C. Y. Long took his stool, his notepad, in his uh, in doing rounds to cheat people. He said that. And then uh, there's a trick. He pulled a trick. Mr. C. Y. Long. Committee instead of commitment in English. Instead of commit commitment. He gives us committees. Well, he would he used this trick and tell people that I have this commitment, but uh, for the time being, uh, I give you a committee. The FTU has uh, criticized the CE for giving us a a check that has been bounced. And then uh, Mr. Matthew Zhang tried to put up excuses. No, no, no. We said uh, we would look into the uh, possibility or feasibility of uh, having standard working hours set. That's trickery. Well, even we saw uh, swallow that uh, we uh, didn't listen carefully, or we. Uh, we placed our trust uh, in the wrong people. Or oh, ear lop. Uh, we d we don't have we have the ear, but not any ear lop. I know Mr. Leung Kuo Hong uh, is in a poor shape. No, 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 no. Please continue. Well, this person has a year uh, has years, but no year loop, according to the the uh, the way uh, Chinese uh, fortune is tell is told. Yeah.
someone with uh, ear loops are lucky people. Now uh, we have this committee. What can what can it do? On the tenth of July, twenty twelve, a short of twenty thirteen. Uh, there was a consensus uh, reached by the committee. Uh, chairman, can cats and uh, mice uh, reach a consensus? It's an eternal theme of uh, argument between the employers and employees. And he said, uh, legislation, or you said, uh, ch Chairman, that uh, the setting of minimum wage uh, is a political decision. Have I quoted you rightly? Maybe uh, that, that, that's the gist of it. If, if not, the exact words. The question is, uh, under Hong Kong's current circumstances, should we go for legislation? And in the process, which interest should should be uh, should come first, the 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 employee side or the employer side? And if you allow all the stakeholders to discuss whether to do it, there's no end to it. It's just like uh, the, a husband uh, discussing. Uh, with the with with a uh, wife, whether the husband should have uh, extra marital affairs. Well, if they cannot agree, they can get a divorce. But we are in the same uh, jurisdiction. We are forced to live under that system. The CS for A, uh, Mrs. Carrie Lam, is so busy. Well, I pit I actually pity her pride when we discussed the. Uh, Docking her pay. Uh, there are so many outstanding problems to be resolved. Uh, some the, the legacy of his uh, of uh, her staying uh, in the development bureau as secretary, and now they re harp the same tune, and that is to say, they must get the agreement of all those on the labor advisory board. We all know that. There's no need to remind us of that. Have you uh, give them some uh, push, some uh, impetus to reach a consensus? The government should uh, talk about it uh, before news uh, media and reporters every day. He should write blogs every day. He should uh, state that uh, if we do not have uh, legislation on uh, standard working hours. Hong Kong is not tru a truly international international metropolis. Just use the the tactics in attacking me. Just twenty percent of the tactics uh, will will be sufficient. It's a waste of time to talk to the employers again. Last year there was no consensus. It's not going to happen this year, and if. Uh, if there's no agreement, uh, I'm going to the press ahead and go for legislation. There's no need to spend a time to get this done. Only those un unscrupulous employers or, or the employers without means would oppose to this. And that is to say the. These uh, employers without means uh, cannot cope uh, in this environment. So you try to help them reduce the uh, the uh, business registration fees, uh, get some windfall tax from rich people such as Mr. Uh, Li Kasheng, and help those uh, less well off in the business community. You you say I'm going to kill you if I ask you to set aside fifty billion dollars for retirement, but there's no need to spend any money on the setting, on the on the on the uh, enactment of uh, legislation to regulate standard working hours. There's a consensus. There's a consensus under the uh, I I C E S C L. 
I am exhausted. Si Wai Liang, don't do honor your promises. Thank you, Chairman. Does any other member wish to speak, Mr. Albert Chan? Chairman, <clears throat> I was uh, speaking on AFCD, Agricultural, Fishery and Conservation Department. It's a head of Program 1. Now I want to turn to Program 2. It's uh, Country Parks, Natural Conservation and Country Parks. According to Country Parks Ordinance, AFCD is responsible for managing our country parks, um, marine parks, for natural cons conservation, education, and uh, recreational purposes. And uh, it's also responsible for maintaining biodiversity. And also to promote the uh, uh, promote a compatible use of country and marine parks, to identify sites of high scientific value for listing as a site of spe special scientific interest. I won't go into details. There are some major problems here uh, in relation to country parks. Some time ago. There were uh, contro controversies arising from the planning of a certain uh, rural villages in Sai Kung. The planning has a, an impact on uh, conservation and uh, and protection of uh, sites with uh, conservation values, because uh, the planning may lead to the degradation of. Uh, Land. Some landowners, according to some reports, have actually cleared uh, their sites, or they have uh, dumped uh, debris and earth uh, on uh, the wetland. Some of the problems are of the government's own making. Their disasters, as I've mentioned in the past. Uh, the expansion of uh, Pang Kei Kok is one of them. I uh, went on hiking recently. Where the streams uh, or the uh, the proliferation of Mamikania has been a problem. That's also a problem. It's been a problem that we have discussed for years. Uh, there's a study jointly conducted with uh, Sun Yat-sen University of Guangzhou. But in the country parks, you see that uh, a mechania and another uh, species of uh, chrysanthemum, uh, like uh, prawns, have wiped out local plant species. Uh, if you go to Australia or in New Zealand, uh, you have to follow the rule that you cannot uh, bring in any plant. Otherwise, uh, you 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 have to face serious consequences for the breaching the. Protection legislation, and and these uh, exotic plant species uh, were brought in by the by government. So it's a problem of our of the government's own making. And the Kenya uh, was spread to Hong Kong uh, by the propagation of uh, seeds through. Gusty winds from the mainland. 
So the EFCD should uh, put in place effective measures to, to uh, resolve the problem. It's not that they did not do anything. They have done some work. But if you look at the effectiveness, you see that there are still a lot of areas in country parks that have been damaged or, dis or destroyed. When it comes to planting, back in the 1990s, where 90% of uh, country parks were planted with uh, foreign species. There has been a lot of um, objecting views now. 80% uh, um, of the species in country parks are local species, but still there are about a, a dozen uh, percent or so of the species being foreign species. Well, when it comes to planting in country parks, uh, there is a huge problem, um, supervision and monitoring. As you know, that um, public money is spent on the planting of uh, tens of millions of uh, plant seeding, seedlings in country parks. And sometimes timing is wrong. These few months is actually the best season or months uh, to plant seedlings. This is a planting window. These, uh, if you plant in these six weeks, the yield will be highest with the lowest fatality. However, I very often saw that uh, seedlings were planted in October and November. When it's dry, when it's a dry season, then survival rate is low. Sometimes when I go on hike, when I go hiking, I see that all these uh, seedlings withered because it's too dry. So I see that um, there are still a lot of problems in uh, country parks. And when it comes to planting in country parks, you will have to think about the environment. If you plant for the sake of planting, there will be a lot of problem. Uh, recently, well, I'm not going to name the specific place, but I've been to some natural trails managed by the AFCD. I've been walking for over an hour. I don't I didn't really see any insects or any um plants. But in this season you will see dragonfly, butterflies or moths. But in that specific location I did not see um a butterfly. Not even one. I saw um, very few other insects. I spoke to some friends of mine who are experts in this area, and I was told that it's because of the excessive use of pesticides. They wanted to, they want to protect the uh, plants, and during springtime there will be a lot of insects, and um, caterpillars will eat the plants. The government wants to protect the plants, so at certain locations they would use pesticides to protect them. So when it comes to um, insects, sometimes it's in direct conflict with plants. The uh, duty of the AFCD is uh, to protect um, biodiversity. And um, manage country parks and uh, marine parks in a proper way. And I would like to say that there is a jargon in the uh, in academia is called green desert when you plant a certain uh, species and if that species fails to attract uh, insects then that plant species will grow 
unchecked. And as a result, there is uh, no insects li like uh, moths and bugs or butterflies in that area. So the AFCD will have to take into account the natural environment, the ecology, when they consider which species to uh, plant. The ecology itself is, uh, is a treasure trove for us. When it comes to country parks, we have a uh, um, very often we have a wide um, um, biodiversity with um, birds, um, um, uh, ladybirds or uh, beetles, uh, butterflies. Well, you have spoken a lot about insects. How is it related? Yes, if you look at our program two, the reduction. Well, then would you please get to the point and explain why you want it cut? But this is a, an amendment of um, Mr. Long Kwa Kong. This is item 44. Well, you have to explain why you support the reduction. Sorry, because... Well, I've been to an area that is uh, protected and managed by the uh, AFCD. I've been hiking for over an hour and I did not see any insects. I heard you. Well, that is my explanation. Maybe a lot of people, or including the secretary, don't know that uh, Hong Kong is actually a treasure trove when it comes to um, ecology, natural eco uh, or ecology. However, the ex uh, the misuse of pesticides, um, the treasure trove is being damaged. We're talking about six hundred and twenty nine million dollars. So I have to fully expound my point. The um, medallia is introduced by uh, the the government. And it destroys and kills local species. We give you funding. You use pesticides in such a way that the uh, natural ecology is destroyed. We give you money. You plant trees to create green a green desert. People who support the environment uh, told me these uh, things because it's not my expertise. And the more I uh, learn about it, uh, the more I know. But when it comes to policy formulation, people responsible for, for that uh, don't know uh, too well about the picture. Let me tell you more about beetles, this um, expat found some new species of uh, beetles and a few of them are named after him and then we have this uh, expatriates here studying beetles i don't see the same enthusiasm from the administration and this expert is going to uh, publish his uh, publications in some well-known international journals we have to Cherish what we have. We're talking about a precious natural resources. Say, for example, the recent discovery of uh, Song Dynasty relics. And it seems that in the course of development and construction, they have completely neglected the value of our history and heritage. Some uh, political parties sent letters uh, to the administration say that um, the uh, process, the progress of um, the Sha Tin Central Line should not be delayed as a result of the discovery of uh, archaeological um, sites. So when it comes to uh, the administration's work in this area, it's uh, fraught with flaws. I think uh, the AFD will have to will have to um, cooperate with the um, highways department more, because well, when it comes to 
um, the uh, ASCD is uh, country parks, highways department, roadsides, and uh, parks as L- uh, LCSD. And I see that when it comes to South um, South Lantau, uh, row about seventy percent of the uh, species planted there are foreign species. So, has the administration made good its words? We can't simply rely on the administration. Well, it seems that uh, there are less and less people in this council. I call for a quorum.
เรื่องไม่ฟันยืนมิสเตอร์ซิลล่าในในปัจจุบันนี้ผมได้ฟังมากที่ไหนกันบ้างในคำแถลงการณ์ของสมาชิกในการประชุมที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถุนายนที่ผ่านมาในวันที่1มิถ
it will become repetitive. Now I've heard many times they said that Kerry、uh, Lam was a good fighter. We have very little time left. Now we still have to squeeze time to participate in、uh, local events, and people don't want to listen, and they、uh, have fallen asleep while listening to members speaking. This、uh, will take away interest of the community in this in the affairs of this council. Members、um, who.、Uh, Are doing so,、um, waste their efforts. They also、um, cause a nuisance to the public at large. I am one of the members who are interested in listening to their speeches. Now, with regard to the discussion on people's livelihood issues,、uh, there were quite a lot of、uh, debates in this council. Say, universal retirement、uh, protection. Uh, dental service. I propose mobile dental service.、Uh, there is a chance to exchange views. There's a chance to debate. This is a lively debate, and people can see different views being expressed in this chamber. But today, members, some other members don't want to join the filibustering. Therefore, we do not speak, and then members can only. Listen to one side of the story, and they just switch off the radio or switch off the TV set. These are important topics. The community will certainly continue to discuss such topics, <coughs> but、uh, it should not be done through a filibuster, thereby affecting people's、uh, livelihood. And the purpose is not served. So I hope the members would、uh, finish their speeches early, and let's、uh, pass the appropriation bill as soon as possible, so as to minimize the impact on the general public. So I submit. Does any other member wish to speak, Mr. Chen Qichun? I thank the Miss Priscilla Leung for her speech, and I thank her for listening so intensely to our speeches in the past few days. Some of the、uh, amendments moved by Mr. Liang Guohong are not making any sense. I agree with uh, Mr. Uh, I agree with Ms. Priscilla Liang. For example, Amendment Number Six Nine Five, deleting the entire、uh, budget for. The the fund to support、uh, people who gave who have gave given their life、uh, in an act of bravery. I think my speeches are、uh, much more organized than his, but people like to listen to him, not to me. But the value of the、uh, amendment is not this this de decided by how popular、uh, you are or your speeches. <coughs> We may make different choices. Some members have、uh, have come to the decision that、uh, the government、uh, would not listen to him, although he has exhausted all means to try to get things done. The government said there's no consensus on、uh, universal、uh, retirement protection, but there's a consensus on、uh, the provision of dental service to the elderly, even if、uh, the entire budget. On dental services cut, they can, the governments can certainly、uh, restart it and do a better job tomorrow. I hope I can、uh, finish my、uh, comments on、uh, elderly dental service、uh, with three speeches. One, I'm talking about one four one. I remember one four one, moved by Mr. Liang Guohong to cut the、uh, annual budget of、uh, dental clinics under the D of H. Uh, totally, fifty-six point two million dollars. This is the total budget, not just the budget on elderly dental service. These dental services、uh, 
These dental clinics only serve civil servants and their families. So not even one ten of the budget is on the provision of dental services to the elderly. For one four two, it's twenty five point one million dollars. This is for the outreaching dental service for the elderly. <coughs> so altogether, only some tens, uh, something under fifty million dollars have been uh, provided to fund the uh, elderly dental service. I ask whether it's a question of uh, no budget, no manpower, or no clinic. And uh, the Secretary for Food and Health said uh, they didn't know how big the expenditure would be like. So they cannot ask the FS to write a check of a certain specified amount. You may think that if we uh, spend a lot of money to, to care for the teeth of uh, elderly people who are over 70, it's not cost effective. They're already over 70, and if you give them dentures costing $10,000 or more, uh, they may pass away to, uh, upon reaching 71. So it's not cost effective. We might as well to provide the dental service to uh, the, to the children, and they, they, because they have decades to go before they pass away. Let me give an example why, or or or, or why I'm saying that uh, this is uh, not a question of uh, lack of funds, but a lack of uh, determination on the part of the uh, government. Uh, Dr. Joseph Lee is also concerned about dental service for the elderly. Uh, Ms. Alice Mack uh, is another member who cares about this, because Kuaiching District Council has made use of uh, the funding under the uh, signature project scheme for each and every district. Is the district council? Uses the funds uh, to provide dental service, not on any hardware. Half of it is spent on dental service; the other half on uh, on eye, awful, more logical uh, service. Let, I don't have the breakdown figures. Let's say <clears throat> we have fifty million dollars. The district council cooperates with. Uh, Yan Chai to provide dental service to those over 60, uh, scaling, filling, canal root, root canal the treatment, the denture, uh, bridge production. Elderly people uh, pay a small fee. So for example, ten dollars for scaling and four hundred dollars for denture. Everyone's. Uh, Subsidy cap is uh, ten thousand dollars. I don't want to go into details of this particular dental service. Kuaiching District Council gets a hundred million. It uh, set aside fifty million dollars to operate this uh, dental service for the elderly. It's expected that in the coming three years they can serve sixteen thousand two hundred people. If you look at the outreach uh, dental service uh, for the elderly provided by the government, the funding is, is uh, amounts to $25.1 million. And the uh, Kuaiching District Council utilizes this uh, signature project uh, funding, $100 million in total, and it can serve 16,000 elderly people just for one district. But the government for the entire territory of Hong Kong only provides twenty five point one million dollars. So help us to cut uh, to pass amendments one four one and one four two for dental services. If you don't support one four one because it will affect uh, civil servants, please support amendment one four two. And then 
The government provides $15 million to each and every district council or to NGOs. We can serve a lot of uh, elderly people and give them dental service. Why can't it be done? It's a question of lack of uh, commitment. If we copy the model of Kwai Ching District Council, and every district enhances their dental service, I'll stop my speeches. I'll stop talking. If every district is given $50 million to enhance dental service for the elderly, if you do that, I'll, I'll stop. Uh, but I know the government is not going to do it. Uh, we have give, made some suggestions which can easily be implemented. For example, mobile uh, healthcare vans. In one district, more than 10,000 elderly people can be benefited from such service enhancement. Now we want to cut uh, the budget items. It's, um, it's the, way, the only way to force the government to think again. Dr. Going Man, the, a district council is able to do this. Why don't you ask the FS to do, to do this? Well, it's, a, it's just one district, and 17,000 people can be benefited. Some elderly people are thinking about moving to Kwai Ching because uh, uh, if they live there, their, their address is within Kwai Ching. Uh, they stand to benefit. They're eligible. It's not that we don't have sufficient uh, dentists. Why is it that this district council can do it, but not other district? But of course, I'm not saying that uh, other district councils are um, uh, misspending the uh, funding for the signature projects. It shouldn't be something done by the district, by the districts. If we want the districts to solve their own problems, maybe uh, we should have mayors for all the districts, and they would seek separate fundings. Uh, this should be done by the government for Hong Kong as a whole. I've ju I've demonstrated that uh, you just don't want to do it. You are just willing to spend twenty five point one million on outreaching dental service. And you think this is uh, already a, an accomplishment? Uh, there are some the mentally the handicapped uh, persons who can go to an NGO uh, where they can receive uh, dental services, uh, such as uh, scaling. So NGOs are teaching the government how to do it. But the government, all the government can say is that I can't do it. This is the budget. I would uh, have a, another reviewed. Uh, and then another re review later, one after another. Ms. Basile, you have uh, met the FS. Of course, you have uh, made your uh, suggestions known to him, but he just don't want to do it. Well, this is uh, our way to increase the pressure. The lever. Leave uh, aside the uh, suggestion on uh, universal retirement protection. If we just focus on elderly dental service, then you know the problem is not that we cannot do it, but uh, the government doesn't want to do it. Who uh, hands up for those who think that 25.1 million for outreach dental service for the elderly is sufficient? Or would, would you say that if it, it pales uh, com when it, when you look at what one district council has spent fifty million dollars that is uh, on dental service for the elderly. It said that we keep uh, repeating what we say, but if we uh, advance our views again and again. And then the government just ignores us. That's a waste of uh, our resources. The the proper way is to exert pressure on uh, the government. If you uh, have a signature campaign in the districts, uh, 
you are going to be very popular uh, if you you are the subject is uh, opposition to uh, fair increases or tariff increases or public utilities or the provision of uh, elderly dental service so we want to make the best use of uh, the opportunities we have the power we have to ask the government to change uh, such illogical, irrational uh, policy. And we want them to make some improvements to benefit uh, those in need. I think I should pause here in respect of uh, dental service for the elderly, so I submit. Does any other member wish to speak? Mr. Leung Kohong?